All right, let's talk about one of the biggest myths in real estate, that good old open house. You know, sellers swear by them and agents keep doing them. And I'm here to tell you open houses don't sell houses. That's right, folks, they don't. You can put out all the balloons, bake all your little cookies and light up the vanilla scented candles. But guess what? Ain't nobody buying your open house because of that. Now, before you start thinking I've lost my mind, let's look at some cold, hard facts. According to the National Association of Realtors, you know, and they're the data nerds who actually track this stuff, less than 4% of buyers find their home through an open house or a yard sign. That's combined. So yeah, if you think an open house is gonna have people busting down your door with offers, let me save you the trouble. They won't. Now sellers, I get it. If you want to believe open houses are still the magical key to unlocking that sale. It feels good to imagine dozens of eager buyers wandering through your beautifully staged living room, mentally moving in. But here's the reality. Most of those people, they're your nosy neighbors. They've been dying to get a peek at your remodel kitchen or check out your, if their bathroom is nicer than yours, right? They're not buying, they're window shopping. And they're not even the good kind, more like the, let's see if we can get some design ideas and maybe steal a throw pillow while we're at it. But I'll give open houses one small, tiny sliver of credit. That's opening weekend. That's when all the nosy neighbors might actually do you a favor. They'll poke around, judge your taste and backsplash, and then run off to their group chats or their next PTA meeting to gossip about your place. You want that free buzz because maybe they've got a cousin or a friend who's looking for a place and boom, there's your word of mouth marketing. But after that weekend, open houses are just a waste of time. Sorry, I don't make the rules here. Now agents, let's get real for a second. We know why we do open houses. It's not about selling the house we're standing in, is it? It's about lead generation. That's right, I said it. You're not praying for an offer on this house, you're praying for that fresh meat. Every person that walks through that door is a potential future customer. The open house is basically a fishing expedition and your seller's home is the bait. But here's the kicker, that doesn't really help the seller, does it? I mean, sure, we've all done it. We've stood at that open house, pretended to care about every person walking in handing out our business card like it's candy on Halloween. But if we're being honest, we know most of these people aren't buying that house. Maybe they'll buy something eventually, but they're just dipping their toes in the real estate waters. And we're over here like, yeah, I'll be ready when you're ready to cannonball. But here's the rub. The, car, the NAR code of ethics you know, it says, we're supposed to put the seller's interest above our own. Remember that one? Yeah. So when we're pushing open houses, knowing they're not really gonna sell the home, but they're great for padding our pipeline, we're dancing just a little too close to that ethical line, in my opinion. It's like a doctor prescribing you sugar pills and hoping you won't notice. Now, I'm not saying never do open houses. I'm saying be honest about what they are. If you're an agent, just say, look, this open house probably isn't gonna sell your home but it will generate some buzz and hey, maybe I'll meet some future customers too. Transparency, people. Don't make it sound like this is the magical unicorn that's going to bring buyers out of the woodwork because let's face it, buyers don't care about open houses. They're online, they're doing virtual tours in their pajamas, they're sipping coffee, narrowing down their choices without ever stepping foot in a house. If your place isn't getting offers after that first weekend, it's not because of lack of open houses, it's because the price is wrong. Let's call it like it is. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. So sellers, next time your agent starts pushing for open house number six, ask yourself, who is this really helping? You or them? And agents, if your lead gen strategy still revolves around open houses in 2024, 1980 call. It wants this marketing plan back. Now look, I get it. Open houses feel like the easy go-to, but let's be real. There are better, smarter ways to drum up business. Ways that don't involve wasting your seller's time or you dancing dangerously close to that whole, you know, ethics thing. I mean, here at Century 21 Edge, we figured out how to leverage digital marketing to get more traffic for your listings 
and more buyer leads for you for a fraction of the cost and the time of hosting an open house. No more standing around hoping someone will sign the guest book. No more pretending the free cookies will seal that deal. With our tools, you can get your listings in front of qualified buyers who are actually ready to move. You know, stuff that works while you sleep. All right, that's enough truth bombs for today. Drop your comments below. Sellers, agents, nosy neighbors, I wanna hear from all of you. And for those of you that are still believing in the open house fairy tale, well, I've got some oceanfront property in Kansas that I'd love to sell you.